Whether you fancy a mystery or something to trigger your goosebumps, these top 10 scary videos mummed my Mia. Number 10. Who's that in the window? Unexplained guests disrupting live chats has been trending, such as life, but this one seems more to take the cake. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Lucky1196, this chilling presence occurred during the live chat of a popular Japanese YouTuber. Speaking directly to her audience, you'll notice behind her is a large white curtain pulled across reflective glass. As she is in the midst of chatting, someone appears behind her, standing between the parted curtains. <laughs> His face is a blur, but his red plaid pajamas are quite distinct. The YouTuber moves back to her original position, blocking the view to the window. Shortly after, it seems her viewers have alerted her to what's happening. As she turns around to look for the visitor, but he's no longer there. But a short time later, when she moves her head again, the figure returns. Again, her viewers alert her to his presence, and this time she gets up to make sure she's alone. When she peeks through the curtains, presumably to the outside, there's nothing there. After sitting back down, the stranger appears again. This time, she pulls the curtain all the way back, revealing a reflective window. Nothing at all is there. Are our eyes playing tricks, or has the stranger now entered the chat? Number 9. Mysterious Tsunami Creature <laughs> Mother Nature sometimes digs up monsters. That was the case during the 2011 tsunami in Japan. The scary video is proof that there are plenty of species in our oceans that we haven't yet met. The clip shows floodwaters tearing through the Japanese coast. While this is disturbing enough, don't be distracted by all the debris. Instead, look closely at this waterway. What looks to be either translucent vapor or a big spout of water shoots up in the air like a geyser before vanishing like a ghost. Some are saying it is a ghost, while others think it's a propane tank discharging when its regulator was torn off. A few people think it may be marine life with highly effective camouflage skills. Where do you land in this debate? My guess is something paranormal. Number 8. Catalytic Converter Contraband Woodland, California Roseville, California Two cities, two incidences, two suspects, and two ring videos that caught them in the act. Their target? Prius catalytic converters. These catalytic converters are inviting to thieves as the precious metals used in them can be recycled and sold for profit. In both videos, the two hooded thieves saw off their converter, retrieved their jack, and then raced to the getaway car. One man is under the car getting his hands dirty, while the other looks on, prepared to take off. The Prius alarm goes off, but by the time someone is alerted, it's too late. The men are gone and are on their way to B. In the Woodland case, the owner of the Prius raced out after them in his underwear, brandishing a barbell. In the Roseville case, the owner wasn't aware that they'd made off with his car's catalytic converter in the moment, but when he discovered it later, was angry about the added expense at a difficult time. The converter is reported to run around three grand. Both ring videos show the same silver SUV and blue jack, confirming that the thefts were organized. Arrests were made a month after these two surveillance videos were captured, with police charging two suspects in at least 61 similar incidences across Northern California after a five-month-long investigation. It's probably time to get a garage. Number 7. Paranormal Paranoids 
Do you believe in the paranormal? Are you paranoid someone's watching? Then the Paranormal Paranoids are here to guide you. Introducing your guides, Peter, Laura, David, and Riley. These videos were posted by the Twitter account Just the Paranoid. The first video is set in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. The crew enters a wooded area, and Riley explains why they're here. She says that to the locals, these woods are a setting for a sinister story. To most people, this forest is the same as any, but to the people of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, who remember what occurred in 1994, these woods hold a sinister story. In 1994, a young married couple crossed paths with a lifeless body along the path. Mary Talbert had sadly taken her own life, being that she did so on a very public path. The takeaway is that Mary wanted to be found. The group paused near the tree where it happened. This is where it happened. It was almost as if she wanted to be found, wanted to be seen. They pose for pictures and leave. While watching the footage back, they discovered a few things they hadn't noticed in person. Upon first entering the woods, a disembodied face appears in the trees. I don't think it's there, Peter. Oh, okay. you sure? Ew. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Later, as they are leaving, the camera catches someone standing behind a tree, perhaps watching them. But the creepiest image comes as they're posing for pictures near Mary's tree. Lurking in the distance is a figure that looks as though it's wearing a cloak with something draped over its face. Hi. Can I get the f over here? <laughs> <laughs> you should be back. Okay. All right. Ready? What are we doing? Smiling, right? Smile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you paranoid yet? If not, take a journey through Dark County Correctional Facility with the Paranormal Paranoid crew in their second video. It all happened here, inside of these walls. While they are wandering through, Peter is observing letters written on a window when they hear something in the next room. What was that? but they could find nothing there. They continue on, heading upstairs, where they discover a bunch of books open on a counter. They wander through the area where prisoners were kept in solitary confinement. And the inmates that were brought here in the 1930s, they were maximum security. Then up a narrow staircase and back to more prison cells. Did you do that? Hey, wait, did you do that? I didn't touch anything. Riley is leading the way when suddenly she stops and her face is full of fear. She said she suddenly felt cold and you can literally see her breath on video. Yeah, I feel what? Cold. Holy shit. Riley, what? What? According to the crew, the camera cut out and didn't record anything for a couple minutes. When it returns, they cast a light down one hall, which shows just how far and deep this well goes. Look at this. Oh, how far back does that go? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, sorry. So and just how many prisoner stories it holds. One last tour by the Paranormal Paranoid see the crew at Lincoln Elementary, whose haunted halls have stories to tell. So we made it. Lincoln Elementary. This school has an incredible haunted history, dating all the way back to 1976. One morning in 1976, staff showed up to a filthy school. Although they called the janitor, there was no answer. Upon entering the janitor's closet to obtain cleaning supplies, they discovered the janitor passed away in an horrific fashion. According to Riley, every bone in the janitor's body was broken and his mop was shoved down his throat with just the strings hanging out. Ever since, the place has cycled through janitors with no one staying long as mysterious things kept happening. Rooms that had already been mysteriously cleaned, a solidly locked janitor's closet. Is the legend true? David, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... 
They enter the school and for some reason, head exactly where you wouldn't want to go, into the basement. That's when this happens. Though the bang terrifies them, they continue on, heading into what appears to be the boiler room. Something is clanging around. And then there's another big bang. As they panic, what they see next freaks them out even more. A quiet whistle alerts them to a figure with a white face and glowing eyes standing in a doorway. He shuts the door as they take off in fear up the stairs. Are the paranormal paranoids on to something? Whether or not they attract the paranormal, their paranoia seems more than justified. <laughs> Number 6. Creepy Tracking Rando Maybe you aren't paranoid, but you might be followed. Published by Jasco in June of 2021, this is part 8 in a series of Randonautica experiences over several days. Jasco and his crew are using the app down in Florida State. During their Randonautica tour, they find an old sofa in the forest. But, uh, Wendy's? What we're here for is this. Yeah. After some coaxing, Jasco lifts a mysterious item that's tucked into its cushions. That's like a video game or something. What the hell? Is that an iPod? Yeah, what's one of the old iPhones? <gasps> no. Why is it like a saran wrap? Oh, uh. Wait. That item turns out to be an old iPhone saran wrap to the letters C and F. Feel a little bit safer. It is an iPhone. Look at that. iPhone. Bro, I always wanted to add like a coral one. That's so weird. Okay. What? Oh, we just found a phone in the middle of nowhere. I know, that's super old. They try to turn the iPhone on, but its battery is empty. Later on the mission, Jasko says Chris has been hearing something all day, and now he hears it too. Like, where else could it be? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Yo, like, what would literally, it be? hold on, hold on. Can we talk about something quick? You've been hearing things like all day long. Like, you're like, bro, what is that? Like, I hear like some type of beeping. A beeping sound. Jen finds its source. Chris! What? It's a tile, tile. tracker, bro. That's one of those little... A tile tracking device. She said she found it in between the middle console. They run it over, but it's still functioning. Hold on, I'm gonna... All this time they were being tracked. Someone was in their rental car the day before and planted it. But who? My guess is someone with ill intentions. Number 5. Haunted Little Bighorn Battlefield No good can come from a haunted forest battleground. That's where Sam and Colby took Cayenne and JC in October of 2020 for their YouTube channel. They had to take all the gold that they found and bury it. But when that happened, they ended up just losing the gold. And we're going to find that gold. Their intention was to search for lost treasure in Little Bighorn. But really, something was searching for them. As the group sits in a tent talking, a distinct whistle is heard in the background. Like he's roaming the... Yeah, he's roaming these... He's roam, roaming around. That sounds like a whistle. Shortly after, other noises are heard. The first of which can be a fox. The next of which sounds like an animal passing away. Hopefully, there could be a third explanation. According to YouTuber Vika Kovalchuk, some Native Americans believe that whistles at night draw in bad spirits, but also evil shapeshifters that can answer by a whistle back into any form, even human. Could this be a shapeshifter? They literally could be. A little later, while they're out walking around, 
They hear a cacophony of noises. God, dude. That's, oh. that's so close. You hear what? Oh, are we sure we'll Here we go. It sounds like ducks or geese or some gaggle of birds. As they start to run away, what sounds like coyotes start howling like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Where are you going? I'm just saying, like the opposite direction of all those things. Later, they hear something rustle in the trees. When they say hello, their response is a distant bellow. I'm saying, is that an actual guy? Hello? Holy f Not long after, they see a distant light in the darkness. They think it's a residence with its lights on. Look, look, look do you see that light? Way, way, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. all the way over there, do you see that? Yeah, 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 there's some, yeah, right there, you can see it through the bushes. The crew hears shots and starts running. Guys, update. We just heard gunshots. We just heard shots. After things quiet down, they walk slowly along the trail and hear what sounds like a stick snapping off trail. Holy sh! Was that one of you guys? Did you hear like a stick crack after, or before, or like that rock? Just now. Still trying to find their way back to camp, they stop and listen. They hear what they think is the wind, but it's not windy out. It sounds like a faint howl. It's a dodge. I hope they pick that up. Do you hear that? Wait, that's a big growl. One viewer suggests that it sounds like a crowd of people yelling, which it could be since so many people passed away in this area. They continue to make their way when they hear this. Oh, 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 oh. They're, they're there again. They must feel like that way. Do you hear that? It sounds like the coyotes are trailing them around the forest. When they finally do make it back to their tent, they are laying in the dark when they hear people talking. One of them says it sounds like two guys yelling. Really? Yes. I heard people yelling. I thought we were far away from any property. Like a long, long way. Another counters that no one should be awake at this time unless they're hunters. They turn off the lights and hold still in the darkness when they hear this strange squeak. This is private land, I think. One viewer notes that it's either an animal or one of those animal calls used by humans. The next morning, bright and early, they finally gather their things to leave this undoubtedly haunted battleground. But before they do, they spot two people in the forest while they try to duck out of there without being seen. Look, I'd much rather be here than Los Angeles. In the end, they are caught, presumably by the owners of the private land. Public land right here. Not many more. I have no what idea. Are you guys doing out there? Hello? Yeah, what are you guys doing? This is apparently what happens when you trespass. Every animal in the forest haunts you with only their noises. Number four, is that you, Abigail? After falling ill, an elderly woman named Abigail passed away in her home, but did she leave? Published to YouTube by Mindseed TV. The Mindseed TV isn't so sure, and for more creepy videos like this entry, be sure to check out their channel. According to relatives, Abigail's reflection has been seen throughout the house. The crew was called to investigate the matter, and so they came to spend the night. And this is what happened. That was crazy. Stop recording. Oh, what? That's why we're why here. Why are you here? That's why we're here. Run. Are you telling us to run? 
The audio immediately tells the crew to stop recording as they explore the haunted home. A keen-eyed viewer notes that as Tanner is crossing into a hallway, there's a big mirror on the wall. An upside-down cross appears there, looking to be smudged onto the mirror by hand. As one of the crew is standing on the stairs, he asks Abigail if he can enter her room, recording the mirror in his hand. Abigail, are we allowed to go in your room? No, I just saw something weird really? on the mirror. He notices a strange reflection flash in one corner, appearing like a disembodied face. Later, as they're in the bathroom, taking a moment's pause to ask Abigail if she's present, something falls above them. They believe it was the attic door. Abigail, are you up here with us right now? Oh, what was that? Where'd that come from? It was that right there. Right above me. When they manage to open the attic door, they feel a chill. At one point, one of the crew sits down at Abigail's desk. She wrote in her diaries a lot during her last remaining days on Earth. As he flips open the diary and is reading, the device tells him, do not. Do not. Do not read. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm reading it and it said, do not. Diary is extremely personal. Do not. Do not. She repeats this again and again. She is persistent in her demands. Obviously, she believes her diary should be private. Later, they sit down in the living room and ask Abigail if they can run some tests in her room. She tells them to leave her alone as they continue to try and persuade her. Abigail, is it okay if we do tests in your room? Leave me alone. Are you sure? Goodbye. No. Leave me alone. One viewer notes that the curtain appears to move slightly in the background. Leave me alone. Are you sure? Goodbye. Abigail, give us a chance. We come in peace. Goodbye. They finally make it to Abigail's room and she asks the question of all questions. Has she passed away? It's like the sixth sense all over again. Abigail. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are. I think we've communicated with Abigail. Am I dead? Abigail doesn't even know she's no longer alive. Gail introduces himself and Abigail asks why they're here. He explains exactly why. That's why we're why here. Why are you here? That's why we're here. We're trying to figure out how to communicate with those that are moved on from this lifetime. Still trying to convince Abigail that they're aight. Later, one of the crew enters the attic and the door slams shut behind him. Was it closed by some invisible force? It feels weird up there, right? Oh. Chain, 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 more chain. In one last attempt to speak with Abigail, they set up two candles. One for yes, the other no. When they ask if it offended Abigail that they did tests in her room earlier, the yes candle flickers. Abigail, does it offend you that we were doing tests in your room earlier? That flickered, yeah. Abigail, does it offend you that we were doing tests in your room earlier? That flickered. Yeah. They also ask her if they have permission to read her diary. She answers no. Abigail, do we have permission to read your diary? Wow, that was crazy. They confirm this by asking Abigail if she wants them to stay away from her diaries. Although neither of the candles react, the light behind them flickers. Okay. Do you want us to stay away from your diaries? They take this as their cue to go, but as they are talking about how they aren't welcome in this home, a viewer catches one last thing. A shadow appears to move from left to right, blocking the lights behind Casey and Tanner. We've communicated and it just seems like we're not welcome. Yeah, you know, we've kind of gathered what we can. Do you see it? Is that you, Abigail? Number three, what's in the pool?
Something's in the water. A boy from Phoenix, Arizona grabbed his camera when the water in his above ground pool began sloshing around at 9 at night. The sound had woken him up, so he told his mother and they went to investigate. Waves were still disrupting the pool when they went to check it out, and although the adults walked all around the perimeter, they couldn't see what was causing the disturbance. There was, in fact, a quake in the state the same day, but it was hundreds of miles away in Littlefield at around 7 in the morning. Geologists say no aftershocks could have caused the pool's mysterious waves, but there's one promising theory. Members of 12 News audience believed a phenomenon called a seash could have caused the disturbance. A seash is when water oscillates in enclosed bodies of water, like pools for instance, usually due to changes in atmospheric pressure. So is it a sheesh, or is there something more disturbing in the water? Number 2. Creepy Abandoned House This abandoned house was a favorite haunt for squatters, and now it will soon be the favorite haunt of urban explorers. Published to YouTube by Lomar Mendez in March 2021, Omar and Chelsea dig right into the seriously creepy house. Littered with random garbage left behind, graffiti on the walls, and antique gems that look like they've been around for at least a century. Wandering through the house, Omar opens a door and as he does, listen closely. You can hear a voice whisper, Look. I don't know, I haven't really been here in about a year and a half. The very first time we came here, we actually found homeless people stuff upstairs. A detour into the bathroom brings viewers one of the grossest things seen in this top 10, a pile of discarded hair in the sink. They enter a bedroom, which might explain all the hair, as the room once housed people. Their belongings are still scattered across the floor. Further along, they find scraps of paper with strange noises written on them. They say, disintegrates with light and zap the ground. As they're heading upstairs, something falls in the room behind them pushing them to pick up the pace. But now they have one problem. There's no way out. They wait around upstairs, but no one approaches, and nothing more is heard. Using an electromagnetic field detector, they sense energy in the home. Though the electricity isn't on, it's a steady current. Look at that. Is there a spirit in here? Is this your house? Yo, it's steady. Like, for real. The necrophonic device they use in the basement seems to confirm that energy. When they ask who's in the house with them, a voice says hi, and later, sir, hi. Who's in here with us? I'm Are you hiding? They continue to communicate with the spirits and an orb appears in the top right corner of the door. Did a spirit just enter? Was this your home? They ask the spirits to make a noise for them. It almost sounds like it says ghost. Can you make a noise for us? They both start to feel ill and uneasy. As they're getting ready to leave, Omar says he felt like the entire house shook. I almost thought I, like, it almost felt like the house shook. Like the entire house, right there, just shook. I don't think I've done that. That's like demonic. Not long after, while they're speaking to each other, an orb appears to drift from Chelsea's head. I don't know, but it's like really eerie quiet now, and like. Yeah, it's really quiet. Have the spirits attached to their new hosts? If that's the case, that would truly mama my Mia. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Mysterious Randonautica Goatman Did what? you see something? What's that back there? 
More proof that Randonautica might just randomly take you to your demise. Premiering on YouTube in June of 2021, Hunting the Dead goes on a Randonautica adventure that takes them in a lurid direction. Like a little old shack or bomb shelter looking thing in these woods. I bet you these woods have secrets here, guys. Jody is directed to a forested area near a parking lot. Beyond is a freeway, and they're headed in the direction of a chain link fence and told to progress about 100 feet. Just as they're deciding if it's worth it or not, they hear something in the brush. <gasps> what was that? What was it? I have no idea. I just heard somebody say something. They also believe they heard someone speak. Hello? Bro, I just heard it again. Here, let's go, let's go, let's go. But they don't investigate the matter. Instead, heading off, they note that it smelled like someone or something had passed away over there. A week later, on a separate Randonautica adventure at night, they are led to a historic wooden shack. As they're about to get out of the car to explore it, Alicia warns Jody not to get out, saying she saw a shadow move. Whoa! What? 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 No, don't get out. What? 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 Close the door. What do you mean? No, no, stay right here. Wait, 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 wait. What did you see? I seen a shadow of somebody walk by. She said it walks by from the bicycle path, but this was not caught on camera. Despite the warning, Jody ends up getting out to check the shack, and he probably shouldn't have, as he enters and directs his camera up the stairs. A terrifying sound is heard. It sounds like a voice out of a horror movie and almost like it was played on a recording device rather than spoken. It's a strange and haunting sound which immediately launches Jody back to his car. Hello? <laughs> There is somebody. Next, they're led to another old house that looks like a legitimate abandoned shack. While sitting there, they hear something, but it's inaudible to the audience. They say it sounds like kids. Sounds like a bunch of kid. kids. Hey. Out here playing this late? Yeah, there's a there's a car pulling up right behind us there. They say it looked like a horned beast, like a goat man. Goat man or not, there's definitely something there. We don't want to stick around to find out what it exactly is. Do you believe in ghosts? Whether or not you're a believer, you'll find that these top 10 scary videos are definitely sus.